Because it's sugar. I can't, I can't, I can't do that kind of intro. That's just not me. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Spotted Ace Five here, and today I am here with a new video. This is a top ten video on the top ten uses for the brand new terracotta blocks in Minecraft 1.12. And whilst I have your attention with these big words that keep coming up on your screen, uh, I would suggest that you hit the like button and also subscribe for more content because I have a video coming up on Tuesday that I think you will all really, really enjoy and it's going to be pretty awesome. So anyway, let's get straight into this with use number one. Okay, so use number one is probably the most obvious one and that is rugs. Okay, so I've used the yellow terracotta block here. Oh, sorry, it's glazed terracotta, isn't it? I've used the lime one, and I've used the green one, and you can get some really, really funky rug designs with these just by changing around the pattern. You know, it looks really, really cool. And yeah, <laughs> that's that's probably the most obvious one, the most obvious use. Um, which brings me on to use number two, which is probably the second most obvious use, and that is modern art. So, you know, I've used the white terracotta here, I've used the light blue, I've used the cyan, and I've used the blue. And, you know, you can make some quite nice decorative artwork with them, uh, and it, it can also work well with the rugs. And obviously, um, you can change it in the te in uh, texture packs, you know, you can make uh, much more fancy patterns that will slot together and all that kind of business, and it, it, it looks quite awesome. So this moves us on to use number three. Well, it doesn't really, but... Use number three is windows. Now, as you can see, I have created a kind of traditional house style window using uh, the white concrete powder, which is another new block. And, you know, it looks quite cool. And then to add more detail to the window, um, I have added some red terracotta blocks behind it. And, you know, it makes it look that much better, you know? It just makes it look that much better, and it looks really nice, and I really like that kind of pattern that it gives behind the window. Uh, obviously, if this was an actual house, uh, you know, it would block the light from coming in. But still, you know, if it's just for show, uh, it's quite useful, especially for um, churches, cathedrals, sort of big traditional buildings. That could be really useful. So, use number four. Now this here, we're getting onto probably a much more obscure use for the thing, but this is the inside of a spaceship. So as you can see, you know, you've got the chair, you've got the control panel, and I've used the light grey terracotta for the floor, and I've used the black terracotta for the walls, and I've also used the black shulker box, which was introduced in 1.11, and here I have used the black concrete powder, which I think makes, uh, I have, have no. Okay, yeah, no, I used black wool there, and black concrete powder here, but yeah, yeah, no, that, that looks really nice. Okay, so use number, what is this, one, two, three, four, five, five, use number five is for the magenta uh, glazed terracotta, and that is signs. So as you can see, um, this sign is pointing up, so I would go up, and this sign is pointing down, so I would go down, you can make it face sideways, so, you know, it's good for uh, directions, obstacle courses, uh, for map makers and stuff like that. And that's quite a nice use of the, uh, the magenta stained terracotta. But we have another use for the magenta stained terracotta, and that is super confusing mazes. You know, it's just. Uh, use number six is pixel art, super detailed pixel art. As you can see, I've built a rather awesome Spudinator pixel art. That is me looking very, very beautiful. Very, very beautiful. So I've used the uh, light blue terracotta, white terracotta, brown terracotta, uh, light grey, uh, normal grey, pink, yellow. Um, and uh, and brown again, and yeah, you know, you can make some really sick pixel arts with these, and I think that actually looks pretty cool. I was quite proud of that when I made that. So use number seven is using the magenta stain terracotta again, and that is uh, roots, so you can use them as like kind of a, pe a trail of pebbles going to your base or whatever in survival, you know, just so you don't lose your way. 
And this brings me on to use number let's say eight. Eight? Is it use number eight? Let me count. No, sorry, this was use number eight. This is use number nine right here. And that's the fact that you can use them on, on top of your base for some pretty unmissable pillars to find your way home uh, in survival. Yeah, yeah I mean, if I, if I just fly, like, back here, you know, it's, it's kind of unmissable, you know. You know exactly where your base is. Okay, so it starts to fade out about here. But certainly, for, you, you know, you can still see it there. Okay, there, there it's gone, but, you know, you, you can use it as uh, some pretty unmissable towers to help you... Um, not lose your way. So that brings me on to the final use which I came up with. Uh, obviously there's a lot more uses but this is a very very particular one. I used the red glazed terracotta here because I thought it kind of looked like smoke particles and I thought you know you can make like a kind of teepee like a cowboys and indians kind of teepee tent with uh, coloured smoke particles and stuff like that and yeah you know, mixed with the cobwebs, I thought it looked pretty cool, uh, and the fire, obviously, down here. Because, you know, that's a, that's a pretty cool fire right there. So, oh, I'm stuck. Okay. <laughs> I got out. Nonetheless, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and comment and subscribe and do all that business. And I will see you very, 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 very soon. Farewell.